Bell's phenomenon. What is Bell's phenomenon? It is an upward and outward deviation of the eyeball. When the patient makes an effort in trying to close the eyelids or blink, it is also known as palpebral oculogeric reflex or Bell's reflex, who introduced Bell's phenomenon. It was introduced by a Scottish anatomist, surgeon, and physiologist, Sir Charles Bell in 1823. What is use of Bell's phenomenon? Bell's phenomenon is a normal defense reflex, present in about 75% of the population, resulting in upward deviation of the eyeball, to protect the cornea. Bell's phenomenon is present in most healthy people. It should not be regarded as a pathognomonic sign. It protects the eyeball, especially the cornea, against sudden threat of trauma towards the eye. Therefore, whenever a person blinks or when the eye is threatened by any trauma, the eyeballs roll upward and outward. This ensures that the majority of traumatic impacts to the eye will occur below the cornea due to the reflex rolling up of the eyeballs. Nerve pathway of Bell's phenomenon. Afferent fibers are carried away by facial nerve, seventh cranial nerve. Efferent fibers towards the eye travel in the oculomotor nerve, third cranial nerve, to the superior rectus muscle that causes upward deviation of the eyes. Clinical importance of Bell's phenomenon. Intact Bell's phenomenon indicates that all cranial nerves from three to seven are intact. That is, there is no pathology in midbrain to pons. Therefore, if a brainstem lesion occurs above the pons, then this phenomenon disappears. This phenomenon remains secured in infranuclear lesion. This reflex is especially visible in patients with Bell palsy, lower motor neuron facial palsy. Bell's palsy causes complete paralysis of the entire half of the face. Therefore, weakness of orbicularis oculi muscle eyelid muscle, of the affected half of face, causes failure of adequate eyelid closure, making the reflex to protect the cornea, that is, Bell's reflex more prominent. Since eyelid is unable to close, patient exerts strength to close the eyelid, that stimulates this reflex to roll the eyeball upward. Bilateral Bell's reflex is visible when, both of the orbicularis oculi muscles becomes weak. For example, myasthenia gravis, bilateral Bell's palsy, Guillain-Barr syndrome. That's all for today folks. Please do like and subscribe. Adios.